All right, obviously, very, very difficult road game coming up after, uh, you know, we didn't play very well at home. So, got to turn the page and, and uh, play a lot better, play with more physicality. Um, got to try to find a way to, to, to score some points, uh, which will not be, uh, not be easy, won't be easy sledding. And so, be a, uh, be a big challenge for us uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night. Michael. Have you met with the team today? Not yet today. Okay. Uh, I was going to find out how the message was received, but uh, if you could kind of elaborate into the message uh, that you delivered yesterday. I mean, just, you know, we've got to play better. We've got to be better with the details. We've got to, uh, you know, stay connected as a group. Um, you know, we've got to quit making the same same mistakes over and over again. Um, you know, we've just got to be cleaner on both ends of the floor. Will, how much is this a, a proven game for your defense, considering how Alabama was against y'all last year and just showing that it's, it's a real turn, turning corner, turn of the page kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, our defense is the best in the country. I mean, I don't know I mean, I mean, how much more we've we got to prove it, but I mean, certainly Alabama's offense is extremely, extremely potent, very, very good. To your point, they are built, you know, the corner league can take advantage of the mismatches. J.D. Davidson can take advantage of the mismatches. Shackelford can take advantage of the mismatches. So, you know, they're built. We're going to have to sit down and guard and stay in front of the ball. And, um, you know, Ellis can do the same thing. So it'll be, a, it'll be a challenge for the defense. But if we don't, if our defense doesn't hold up at Alabama, it doesn't mean our defense is all of a sudden terrible. Um, it's just a lot of it's uh, matchup based. And we're going to have to do some different things against them than we've done uh, this year. Uh, I was at the radio show last night, so uh, a quick X update. How's how's he doing? Uh, he's fine. He's been, you know, he's been. Uh, he ran a little bit yesterday. He was in there again this morning, so it will be uh, game time decision uh, tomorrow. You talked about your defensive rebounding last night. When you look at it on film, is it lack of blocking out or not anticipating when the shots going to fall? I mean, what is it? What do you see? Lack of blocking out. Lack of physicality. Um, just, I guess, you know, have, 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 how much have you been able to see just them since Saturday's loss, just kind of turn the page and just being able to kind of flush that one and just, I guess, focus towards Alabama? Do I look like I've turned the focus? page and flushed that one, Glenn? What? Do I look like I've turned the page and flushed no. that one? No. Huh? I don't think so. Okay. You can't. When you play like that, you can't just turn the page. That's not, that's what, that's what it is. that just doesn't work. You had a long list uh, last night of things. What What is the major right now? I mean, free throw shooting, rebounding, defensive rebounding, turnovers. What is there any one thing or all three? I mean, the one I focus the least on is the free throw shooting. I was focused the most probably on the turnovers and the defensive rebounding. The turnovers are the, I think I said it last night, the simplest to get fixed. Like that's the most fixable issue that we have. Um, the defensive rebounding is somewhat fixable, uh, but the turnovers are, are very fixable. So I've, I've spent a majority of my time yesterday trying to fix the turnovers. Um, I'm going to try again this afternoon when we get into practice. Like that, that's where I've, I've, I've put a majority of my, uh, my time. It's, look, I mean, look, our defense, I said it last night, I mean, I mean, we're scoring like 60 points a game in SEC play. It's not just, I mean, we can't just keep, our, our defense can't just keep holding like that. It's, it, it, at some point, it's, it's not going to work. And, um, um, you know, we, we've got to be able to, we've got to be able to manufacture some, some, some points. You talked about the different team lineups contributing to your lack of offensive production. Um, I guess, what is it that you would like out of the guys when they're on the floor? Is it more recognition? Obviously, you talk about movement. I know that. But is it playing with patience, playing with a plan? What are you, what are you missing there? Well, you got to play with some poise. Uh, we don't have very good uh, precision of movement, as I would call it. Like, we just move to kind of move. Like, there's no precision to it. We, we cut, like, in a banana in circles instead of straight lines. And we don't, you know, we, we guard ourselves. Um, I was telling one of them, we, we, we just we're like a one-legged duck swimming all the way around. We just move in the same spot over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and so we, uh, 
know, we just gotta we gotta have better better um, better movement. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's been a problem for us all year. It's just now catching up to us when you're playing the best teams uh, on your schedule, and you got other good athletes, and you got other good guys that can that can close things down. Um, are there opportunities to get Tari uh, more involved in just a half court open? Yeah, but I mean, he's got to post up when they switch him like they did yesterday or the other night. He's got to post. He just stands down there. Like, he's got to post up. We went over that with him. He he guards himself sometimes. And I'm not saying we, we, we don't miss him. Uh, sometimes when he is open, like, we missed him sometimes. But other times he's, he stands down there and he's, he's, he, he's not – he's got to be physical and – post him up or everybody's just going to switch it and everybody's going to put smaller guys on him and, and like we've got to we've got he's got to he's got to work to get open too and when he works to get open I'll make sure the ball's getting down there um, but um, no there's some things and I, I got to help him out I mean we got to do a better job I got to help him out you know they're sitting on the right hand you know people are people have, people have figured it out which is not hard to figure out um, but you know, I've got to open up some more driving lanes for him, which I'll do. It's not it's not his fault. I mean, it's a you know, it's a focal point of a scouting report now. And and so it takes some adjusting to it. He's gonna adjust. He's a good player. But he's got to when they switch, you can't just stand down there and hope the ball gets to you. Like you've got to post him, you gotta be physical. And then we gotta have a guy flash. There's a couple times where we didn't have anybody flash. Like you just you know, you may think you're open but you're not open. There's backside help, there's all sorts of other things going on and so uh, we've got to be able to to recognize that. And that's just a growing pains as a player. Days went through the same thing last year when, when they would switch the ball screens on him. And so um, it was just a different way of playing things. And um, there's ways to combat that. And we've talked about that with him. And, and, and like I said, Tari's sharp. Tari's smart. He does. He's a great basketball mind. He's a great player. And he'll uh, he'll adjust. It's just it's just going to take some time. And then going back to Alabama, look like obviously some change in their backcourt from last year, but. Uh, is there any difference in really their style or anything uh, no. how they play offensively? They do the same stuff. They shoot a bunch of threes. They don't take mid-range jump shots. They get to the rim. They're top 25 in the country. Get to the rim. You know, no, there's there's no much difference in what they're doing stylistically. Uh, do you feel that Saturday's performance had a bit to, had a bit to do with guys uh, buying into all that outside noise and congratulations and the you know positivity they were getting in like the rankings and I turn off. I don't. I don't. I don't no, I mean maybe, but we didn't play very well at Florida either. We just we just did get better last week. That's frustrating to me. Um, you know, I, I think we, we missed some opportunities last week to really take a step forward as a team. And um, you know, that was that was disappointing. I don't I don't know how much about the rankings and all that. we fall out of them? No, you dropped one spot. Wish we'd have fallen out. <laughs> And uh, I guess uh, what's the, the dangers of going into an environment against a team that's on a three-game losing streak? And oh, they're going to be desperate. We're going to get their best game. They're going to play. They're going to play as well as they've played all year. I have no doubt about that. Cornelly and Shackelford are going to play great. Like, it's going to be. That's why you'd like to have a little bit of uh, runway going into the game by beating Arkansas. That would have been the prudent thing to do. Well. Whether it goes back to actually just the competition, uh, last two games you've scored your least amount of points in the second half. What is the cause of that? We turn the ball over too much. We take poor shots. Pretty simple. Um, I think you said after the game, you know, just the number of minutes that some of your guys were playing might have led to just kind of some of the. Yeah, we were down. I mean, yeah. We got guys out there. We've been trying to keep guys at 28 to 30 minutes. That's where we've been really good. I thought Arkansas flipped the tables on us. You know, we've kind of worn teams down. That last five minutes, we wore down mm -hmm. against Arkansas. And so, um, yeah, we, we haven't, um, you know, our, our, uh, our uh, we haven't been able to use our depth with all the injuries and everything else that we've we got going on. We just haven't been able to use the depth to the, to the level that we need to. You talked about all the all the things that you need to fix in your fix them. Do you fix them with fundamental drills, or do you fix them with make them run sprints? How do you fix fundamental them? drills? You don't fix anything with running sprints. It just makes me feel better. We didn't run a, we didn't run a sprint yesterday. Ah, we did. One team lost in a competition, and they ran a sprint, and that was it. Like that doesn't that doesn't you know what what I want to do to make myself feel better is not what's best for the team. 
all the time. So you have to have the discipline to do what's best for your team. Sure, I'd love to have just run the hell out of them yesterday, put trash cans on either end, and you know whatever. But that's not that's not that's not what was that doesn't help us move forward. That doesn't help us get better. That doesn't help us solve our turnover issue. It doesn't help us solve any of our issues. And so it's not it's not what I would like to do to make myself feel better and say, oh, I did this, I did. No, it's what gives us the best chance to get these issues under control. And can we see some progress on Wednesday night at Alabama? Can we see some progress? Later on in the week, um, on Saturday, you know that that's 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 my job is to do what's best for our team and our program and our guys to give us the best chance to to to, to cut this stuff out and, and, and be better. At it. You said last night the Florida game you you kind of could see this coming. I mean, you didn't want to rain on that parade after, I guess, but. What did you see against Florida that led you to believe that? Our preparation was poor. I thought we'd lose to Florida, to be honest. Um, our preparation, I thought, was really poor. If we lost to Florida, we'd have had their attention for our, you know, I mean, it kind of goes both ways. But, uh, I mean, our preparation was poor going into Florida. We were very fortunate to win that game. And um, our preparation was poor going into Arkansas as well. So, does that answer your question? But did you say anything technically that you know that you wanted to fix right away? Yeah, I saw a bunch of stuff I wanted to fix, but you know they were so happy in the locker room. I don't want to just go in there. I never want to take the fun out of winning, even though you know sometimes I do. But I try not to, especially an SEC road game. Like that was our first SEC road win. Those are not easy to come by. Um, in the situation we were in. And then, the problem was on Thursday I couldn't get through to him in the film session because the stuff I was showing that I wasn't real happy about, you know, coach we won, we pulled it out. Yeah, but we're not going to keep pulling out, you know, games like that if we can't get this corrected. So, you know, I did a poor job of communicating what I needed to <clears throat> communicate um, to the guys to really turn it. And so, um, yeah, I guess that would, that would be why. Well, I think you yeah, got matching. Uh, <laughs> we did. <laughs> matching, uh, matching pullovers on. Yes. It wasn't planned. Um, just a little chill in the air. Uh, I think you said you think your team can be better than what it's shown. Even when things have been going good. So, so how how do you, how sure are you or questioning? Are you thinking that you can fix the problems that you have and, and be better? And be the team that I'm a coach. Always potential. think I can fix everything. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the nature of what we what we do. You know, you put duct tape here and another another hole. You know, you got to go duct tape this hole, and then that one springs a leak, and you go to this one. And, you know. um, I'm confident. I mean, it's just a little bit late. In the year. I'm confident we can get the turnover stuff under control. I'm, I'm confident I can get that better. I'm not saying I'll get it. We'll get it like. Great, but I'm confident we can get it to 10 to 12 as opposed to 16, which is what we're averaging in SEC play right now. So I, I'm, I feel best about that. We've shown at times we can be a good defensive rebounding team. We just, you know, we, we just we just haven't been uh, consistently. So I do think for certain games we can get good at the defensive rebounding. I'm not sure we're going to be consistent enough with that. Um, but I think we can. You know, on a game by game basis, we can be good enough uh, with that. Um, the free throw shooting, we've got good shooters. I mean, I, that's just trusting your routine and knocking them in. I've been, that's been, I've probably been the most surprised with that. Um, because we, we put a lot of time into that. We all have routines, they all have certain things that they do. And, and you know, we, we, we've got, we haven't been as solid as we need to be there. But, I think I'm most confident getting the turnovers and just being clean with the ball. It's not even the turnovers, it's just the, we're not clean with the ball. Like we, That's part of the reason we can't score is our timing's off, moving the ball. We have poor spacing. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it besides just the, there's a lot of stuff that leads to a turnover. You see the end result, which is the turnover. But usually it happens because of poor spacing, poor decision making not setting things up at the beginning of the game. Like we just, we make ourselves so easy to guard because we do the same thing over and over and over again. And so, you know, um, 
we just gotta we just gotta learn. We gotta learn and, and set things up. You know, set things up. Like, when's the last time one of y'all saw us drive right and pitch the ball out to the corner? Yeah, right. Well, if you don't ever do that, what are they gonna do? They're gonna load in on your drives, and we're gonna shoot those wild layups. We shoot. We're gonna miss. Like, you have to set things up. Just pitch it to the corner two or three times at the beginning of the game. Then the guy's gonna stay out there, and then you can drive it in there and get a layup. But we don't do anything to make it simple on ourselves. We don't change speeds. We don't change. We play at one speed. We either play really, really fast, or we play really, really slow. Like you, you got to be able to play fast. Stop. Play medium fast. Like you got to be like that's how you beat people up. To like that's how you got to have that pace. And you know you can say what you want about some of the players. Like you think about Watford. I know people didn't. I mean, he's a hell of a player. But at the four spot for us, he could. It looked slow, but then he could turn it on and slow it back down, and then he could drive it hard and go into a post up and back him down. Like that's that that that's that's why he plays in the NBA. That's why he's, I mean, he's playing 15 minutes a game right now for the Trailblazers as a five. Um, but like that's the sort of stuff that you gotta have, and the point guard's gotta be able to, you know, we gotta change speeds. We don't we don't we don't we don't make it easy on ourselves by set. We don't set anything up. We just do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And you gotta you gotta set stuff up, um, and and we, we we make the game very difficult on ourselves and I've been frustrated because I just haven't been able to I haven't been able to um, um, you know get through to our guys on how to make it we have good offensive players we have good offensive talent we just we just make it uh, make it difficult on ourselves it's curious you said Thursday that you could tell the message wasn't getting in when do you know the message is getting in is it verbally from them or is it at practice when you see it I can tell just watching them sit there and what they take in, I can tell. I can tell just by their facial expressions, how they react. You can, if you just have a six sense, you know those guys. You've been around them a long time. You know, you know when it's getting through and when it's not getting through. So you can tell it what. But what we could do. How about yesterday? We'll see you today. Anything else? Harrison, you work at the mic. You don't have a question. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. All right, Jay, you next, Coach? No, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs>